What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash this sub button to be notified for future readings. It's free general collective reading for all signs. Top six sides, everybody in the Don't do the basics. Primer fluid, energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Love you guys so much. Yeah, uh, like to donate. High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash up, no Venmo. Um, if you'd like to book a personal, all the information is in the description box below. And I offer a new service called Life Coaching if anybody's interested in that. Okay? I uh, love you guys so much. Okay, so this is 1024 2022, um, 9 19 a.m. Central Standard Time. I, uh, this is, I received a channeling, so I'm going to put it out. It's a really good one. Hope everybody's doing well. I do, I do, I do. Okay. Hashtag bring my kids back, baby. Just saying, just saying. Bring my kids back. We might need to hear that. Okay. I'm going to keep doing that until I get my kids back. Just saying. Okay. So the channel message I received was um, um, a divine masculine has already gotten a huge wake up call. I, I heard a huge, actually, I heard a huge effing wake up call. That's what I heard. But I'm not going to put the post word on here. Huge effing wake up call. And I heard it big. Um, and I heard he, um, for some of these divine masculines, I heard they're about, about to break away from a partner, some a partner, some their family, their toxic family, for some another toxic family. So you plug it in how it resonates. This is for you, divine masculine, I'm presuming. So you plug it in how it resonates, sir, if this resonates for you. Um, I feel you can be any sign. I didn't hear what sign you are, um, but I feel you can be any sign. You have to plug yourself in where you fit if you do resonate, okay? Heavy divine masculine energy. I've been pulling in a lot of uh, divine femme and femme energy, so it's nice to see a positive divine masculine um, energy in here. Just saying, just saying. Uh, and I just want to point out, we moved into Scorpionic season yesterday, 10-23 of 2022. So we're in Scorpio season now. Transformation season. Um, power moment season. Transformation season. We're in it now, so I'm just saying. Okay, so congratulations, Divine Masculine, um, if this resonates for you, okay? You've already gotten a huge wake-up call, huge effing wake-up call, I heard. Some, you're about to break away from your toxic, your toxic family, some another toxic family, some a partner. Now, I feel the partner could be a legally married spouse, possibly, or a fiancé, or a boyfriend, girlfriend, or something of that nature homosexual or heterosexual if it is the partner you plug it in how it resonates okay okay i heard take them all we have refuge success and focus number 16 34 or 50 could be very significant numbers in one's life 16 34 or 50 it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number 16 34 or 50 refuge success focus looks like you're gonna have success with this Hey, get out of the cabinet. Uh-uh. No, no. Come on. Come on, Booker. Get out of the cabinet. Come on. Yep, come on. There you go. Come on. For one divine masculine, you have a very toxic partner. They have been... They have been sending flying monkeys to stalk you all around town. Everywhere you go, they're, they're at work. They're everywhere. But you're highly intuitive and you know this. Oh, my God. Whoa. Yikes. <laughs> okay, so we have three situations. For one, it's your partner. For one, it's another toxic family that's not your family. For one, it is um, your family. You have to plug yourself in where you fit. If you can be breaking away for one of these or two or two plus of these. You plug it in how it resonates. But the one for the partner, you have, your partner has some flying monkeys. I heard all around town. Now, that could be an urbanized city. That could be a small town, a large town. How you take it out resonates. Some kind of town energy. All around, though. I heard at your workplace, if you work, for some, you might not work. For some, you definitely do. And some, and all over, I heard all over the place, and specifically at work. 
um, and in your family for, for one, for one, for one in your family, for one in your freaking family. They've got, your partner has flying monkeys in your family. You're talking about a highly manipulative partner. My God almighty. That, no. Okay, so for one of you guys, you've got flying, uh, the partner has flying monkeys in your family. Of course, um, but you're highly intuitive, I heard, so I'm sure you already know this. That's why you're about to break away. For one, the flying monkeys are at your workplace, if you work. Um, for one, they are, like, in town. Like, I'm presuming you people you talk to, people, obviously people your partner knows, things like that. They have connections all over the place, basically. Your partner has connections all over the place, and they utilize them in a dark side manner here. To keep heavy stalker lurkery eyes on you, basically. So refuge, I think you want refuge away from the situation to get away from the flying monkeys, your toxic, creepy partner, because that's exactly what they are, divine masculine. I, I'm, you're highly intuitive, you know this. Your partner is not mentally correct. I mean, partnership should be based on love, trust, honesty, integrity, morals, ethics, integrity, values, and trust. Trust should be the biggest thing. They obviously don't trust you or they don't want to trust you or they just have mental health issues. If they feel the need to manipulate somebody in your family or somebody at your work or somebody all over town to keep stalkery eyes on you. I think of the song. Um, I, what is it? Flying. Oh, not flying eyes. Um, watching eyes. I'm watching you. I forget that song, but that's kind of how it goes. But private eyes. Private eyes, they're watching you. Except public eyes. Fly monkey energy for your partner. If this resonates for you. Oh, you would just want to get away. About to break away in a huge way. It has become too much. About to break away in a huge way. It's become too much. So you're about to break away in a huge way. It's become too much. So you want refuge away from um, the, refuge away from the situation, peace from the situation because it's become too much. And yeah, I don't blame you because that's a huge reason why I had to break away from my toxic family. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know, I don't have a partner and I haven't dated in a long time. I haven't had sex in three years. For anybody who doesn't know, I haven't had sex in three years. Haven't dated in more than that, like six years, five years, something like that. And I've had to break away from my toxic family. Because of flying monkey, the flying monkey syndrome shit. It just became way too much. And that's just the truth. Success. So I don't blame you, Divine Masculine, is what I'm trying to say. You're about to have huge success in this. Huge. For one, you're about to put your two week in and move very far locations and not tell a soul. For one, you're about to completely just cut it off with a partner. Separate everything that can be separated from the partner. Okay, so for one, you're about to quit your job, put your two-week notice in, and completely move completely far away, far locations, um, and not tell a soul. So I'm assuming maybe your partner, your somebody else's toxic family, or your toxic family, how that resonates. That's for one of you guys. You plug it in, how it resonates. You haven't done it yet. It sounds like you're about to. You're about. It looks like you're about to have success. Um, heavy flying monkey syndrome in here. With a narcissistic triangulation method, very heavy. It's sick. Um, and for one, you're about to cut the partner. Uh, the partner's coming in very strong. You're about to cut the partner off everything you can. So it, I guess it really depends if you're legally married, if it's a boyfriend, girlfriend, or fiance or something like that. Because it's different if you're legally married. There's things called child support. There's things called alimony. There's things, you know, support um, situations if you're legally married. So Whatever you can cut off from the person, if you can, and how that resonates, the partner situation. But 
I think that's the one with the flying monkeys all over the damn place and your workplace and uh, all over town and your family for one of you guys. You're going to have success. Um, that's a, this is, yikes, focus. About to get very focused. About to get very focused is what I heard. You're about to get very focused. And I think you have um, pure intentions here because of purity under the bottom of the deck. In this aspect, I think this is pure intentions, not pregnancy um, or the innocence of a child because um, it can come in several different ways. I think this is um, pure intentions here. Number 45 could be a very significant number in one's life as well. Number 45, pure intentions to do the right thing here. You're about to get focused and do the right thing for yourself and your life because they're causing chaos in your freaking life and they haven't been telling you the truth. Oh my God. These huge changes are about to benefit you in a huge way. These huge changes are about to benefit you in a huge way is what I heard. These huge changes are about to benefit you in a huge way. Well, I, I'm, I'm, you know, everybody's got choices to make. And if you... It sounds like this very, it sounds like they're mentally disturbed partner. And I'm just being serious. If you have a partner that feels the need to have flying monkeys all over the place to keep eyes and tabs on you, that's a mentally disturbed partner. And I'm just being for real, for real. And I'm serious about that. Um, relationships should be based on um, respect and um, trust, not money or greed or lurking eyes and other people in your business they feel the need to have people stalk and lurk you that is just so freaking creepy let's uh pull at least one of these spare messages here for All tied up. Number 23 could be a very significant number of one's life. Number 23 could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Number 23. Deceit reverse. Number 25 could be a very significant number of one's life. Number 25. And hostilities. I heard take it. Number 26 as well. So we have number 23, 25, or 26. Those could be significant numbers in one's life. It's a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. 23, 25, 26. Someone's about to tell them tell them themselves soon. It's about to benefit you in a huge way. And for one, you are about to reveal some huge truth of the past. That's about to help you in a huge way. And a person of your past in a huge way. Your family, another toxic family, and your partner, pl uh, I heard plug it in where it resonates, plug it in where it resonates, they did not want you and the other person of your past to succeed, you know this, you, but you are about to, and they are too. I heard plug it in where it resonates. Okay, so you plug it in where it resonates. <laughs> That's for me. Okay, so, um, okay, so, for, okay, so, for, okay, so, you, you Divine Masculine, you're about to reveal some serious truth. Uh, well, somebody else is about to tell them themselves. Somebody else is about to tell them themselves. Um, it's about to benefit you in a huge way. That's for one of you. Um, no matter which situation you plug in over here, I'm feeling. For somebody, for one of you, and I heard plug it in where it resonates specifically, um, your partner or your, somebody else's toxic family or your toxic family or two or two plus did not want you and another person of your past to succeed, but you're about to reveal some huge information on um, the, some kind of 
situation in the past involving you and um, the person of your past that they didn't want to succeed. I heard it's going to benefit you and the person of your past they didn't want to succeed in a huge way. So I think, so truth about to come out. Truth about to come out. I think they're going to be very, these people are very hostile towards you. They're very hostile towards you, and I think they're hostile to the person of your past, or they have been, how that resonates and supply, uh, applies, but you're about to have success and get focused here and reveal the information. You've been very tied up in this situation, but it's because you're under some kind of narcissistic trying, flying monkey triangulation situation going on. But the truth's about to be revealed, basically. Truth's about to be revealed. Um, very hostile energy here. Um, very hostile. But it's they want you to they want you to remain in this shit. So they can use and abuse you. But I think you're highly intuitive and you know this. Definitely know this. About to get out of this. Okay, I heard you definitely know this. You're about to get out of it. Well, there you go. Good. Nobody deserves this crap. Nobody deserves it. But whoever these flying monkey, narcissistic triangulation type people are, whether it's your family, somebody else's family, or a partner, or two or two plus of these situations, they knew entangling you in this shit would bring you down and, the, for some, the person of your past down. Because they didn't want you or the person of your past to succeed for one of you guys. Um... Yikes. Okay, I'm getting out of this. I love you guys so much. I hope this helped. And by the way, thanks so much for all the new subscribers. You guys, you uh, y'all are the best. I just want to say that real quick before I close it out. Uh, we're at like 14,750 or something. I gained about 50 subscribers overnight. So I really, I think it's the sharing of the content um, all, because it gets to people. When you share the content on social media, it gets to people that they never seen the content maybe the content helps them maybe they like my business my channel maybe it'll help them in some shape form or fashion i've had 50 about 50 subscribers just in less than 24 hour time period so i really 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 appreciate that okay so all the sharing of the content very 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 much helps of course the likes and uh subscribes help too but the sharing of the content really helps love you guys namaste